All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, it is 90 feet from home plate to first base. So if this is home plate and that's first base, 90 feet. And it's 90 feet from first base to second base. So we'll say second base is right here. So this is home, first and second, and this is 90 feet to make a diagram. Boom, done. How many feet from home plate to second base? So this is home. And this is second. So we wanna figure out what this is. That is our question. So this is basically A, B, and C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We need to get C by itself. So I take the square root of this side and this side. My squares cancel out. C equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. We don't mess with this side, okay? So that's gonna be the square root of a squared is 90 squared. We're talking about feet plus another 90 squared feet, and that's gonna equal square root 90 squared plus 90 squared, and I get 127 feet. Okay, what is the angle between the line from home place to first and the line from home to second? So we want to know what is this angle right here. That's the angle they want to know. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to label our sides. So this is the opposite side that's opposite of the angle. This is the, well, this is the long side. The long side is the hypotenuse. And this is the side closest, so this is the adjacent side. Okay, there's a chance that we calculated this wrong, so we're not gonna use this. Um, we're gonna go with our opposite and our adjacent. When I look at SOA, ka, TOA, my opposite and adjacent, that's gonna be tangent. So I'm always gonna start off by saying tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Now, if I wanna get the angle, I'm trying to find this right here, I need to get rid of tangent. Now, I'm gonna tell you a lie, but this lie is gonna help you remember. If we wanna get rid of tangent, we're gonna do the tangent negative one. Tangent negative one is like subtracting tangent, even though that's super not real. These cancel, got the same thing on this side. So my theta, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this over here equals theta equals, I'm gonna write this first, tangent negative one of opposite over adjacent. So that's gonna equal, my opposite is 90 over, my adjacent is also 90. When I plug this into the calculator, I get 45. Tangent 90 divided by 90, I get 40. Oh, oh you know what, and this is a great uh, tool. So I got the wrong answer. Oh, first of all, <laughs> didn't do tangent negative one. 90 divided by 90, and I get 45. Now, 45 what? We're talking about the degrees here. Now, there might be a chance that you're in the wrong mode. Right now, I'm in degrees mode. I can check by looking right here. I need to make sure I'm in degrees right there. I am, I'm gonna push enter and clear. If you're in radians, you will get the wrong answer. Okay, number two. For this triangle, find theta, find length of C. Okay, first thing I do is I'm gonna label my sides. This is my opposite, this is my adjacent, this is my hypotenuse. I'm gonna go ahead and write SOA, ka, TOA. Okay, I have my opposite and my adjacent. I'm trying to find my angle. Opposite and adjacent, that is tangent. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. Tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. And again, I wanna get the angle by itself so I'm just gonna do my tangent, negative one. So this is cancel, theta equals tangent negative one of opposite over adjacent. Um, so my theta equals the tangent negative one of my opposite is 3.1 divided by my adjacent is 6.5. Tangent negative one of 3.1 divided by 6.5 and I get, um, I get 
25. Call it 25. 25 degrees. Okay. Um, moving right along. So, for this triangle, find the length of the opposite side. Okay, well first, let's go ahead and label our sides. If this is my angle, my opposite side is across from it. My adjacent is right next to it, but this is the long side, that's my hypotenuse. So I wanna find the length of this side over here. I have this, and I'm given this. I've got opposite and adjacent, I'm gonna use tangent. So tangent of theta, I always start tangent with theta equals opposite of hypotenuse. I started that with that over here, I started with it over here. You always start with that. I started with it. Oh, I didn't need to do it up there. Okay. So I'm trying to find the opposite. So I need to get the O by itself. Okay, how do I get anything off the bottom? I have to do the I have to get rid of this A. Right now I've got division. Opposite division is multiplication. I have to do the same thing on both sides. These cancel. My adjacent times my tangent theta is going to equal my opposite. Now my a is 17 times tangent, my theta is 32, and that's going to give me my opposite. This is my opposite, not zero. Opposite. I plug that in. 17 times the tangent of 32, and I get, I'm going to call it 10.6. Miss more, what are my units? Well, my opposite, my adjacent was meters per second. That's what we're talking about. Here. For this triangle, find the adjacent side. So adjacent side. Let's go ahead and label our parts here. Here is my angle. My angle. This is gonna be my opposite side. This is gonna be my adjacent. This is my long side. My hypotenuse. Um, I have the opposite. I'm trying to find the adjacent. I've got an angle. Sweet. Opposite and adjacent. That's gonna be tangent. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, oh, tangent of theta, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're trying to get this one by itself now. So I'm gonna do the flip. Okay, I'm gonna take this and move it down there. Okay, we're gonna flip flop them. We're gonna flip flop these two, just like if we had V equals D over T, <clears throat> and I want to get T, I would just flip flop these and say T equals D over V, yes? Just flip flop those. So same thing here, I'm just gonna say adjacent goes up here, equals opposite over, put that one on the bottom, tangent theta. So my opposite is 150 newtons divided by my tangent of my angle, which is tw oh, 29, 150 divided by the tangent of 29, and I get 271. What are we talking about here? Newtons. Okay, that's my adjacent angle. Okay, for this triangle, find theta. Okay, again, we need to write out what we have here. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. Oh, sorry, I lied. Wrong. This is my long side. This is my adjacent. Okay. Here we have the hypotenuse and the opposite. Okay, well hypotenuse is H and O. Hypotenuse and opposite, that's gonna be sine. Okay, we're finally mixing it up. So sine of theta equals opposite of hypotenuse. Okay, and we wanna find the theta, okay? So that means that we have to do the opposite of sine and get this by itself. That by itself. So the sine negative one on both sides. These cancel. Theta equals the sine negative one of the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is the sine negative one of my opposite, which is 13, divided by my hypotenuse, which is 25. So sine negative one of 13 divided by 25, and I get 31.3. If you put 31 degrees, that's fine. Okay, last one. So again, we're gonna find theta. Let's go ahead and write down what we have. This is my opposite, this is my adjacent, this is my hypotenuse. Okay, 
and we have the hypotenuse and we have the adjacent. Let's see that our stuff up here. We have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse, that's gonna be cosine. So come down here, cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And this time we're trying to find theta again still. So that's this one right here. So opposite of cosine is cosine negative one. These cancel, cosine negative one. Okay, so it's theta equals the cosine negative one of the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which equals, the adjacent is 18 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 25. And I get 40, I'm gonna call it 44. 44 degrees, and that's how you do it.